Turning now to the growing crisis at the southern border, the number of migrants crossing into the U.S. from Mexico is nearing an all-time high. CBS News has learned that nearly 10,000 asylum seekers were detained on Wednesday alone. Now, all of this comes as Republicans in Congress are demanding a change to the nation's immigration policy as part of an emergency funding bill for Israel and Ukraine. CBS's Adam Yamaguchi traveled to the border town of Lukeville, Arizona, to see for himself. Daybreak at the Lukeville border crossing in Arizona. Hundreds of migrants have reached the most important moment in their journey to the U.S. The Border Patrol officials are starting to uh, line the individuals up based on language and where they're from. The processing may, may begin momentarily. Overnight, people built campfires for warmth. Some have gone days without food or water. This man traveled from West Africa. Did you sleep? How to sleep? Yeah, I very cool. No way to sleep. Did you expect this when you came into the U.S.? No. Daniela is a mother of four from Mexico. I'm very tired of walking so much with my children, with the baby in my arms and the little girl on my shoulders. This is one of the border's most remote stretches, now one of the busiest. In the last year alone, there's been a 140% spike in migrant apprehensions in this area. I've been working in this sector of the border for um, almost 20 years, and we've never seen anything like this. They're cutting through the wall. Our cameras captured one of those breaches. Hey, guys. Smugglers hid their faces. This is the breach in the wall that the smugglers have cut through, and this is what the Border Patrol is up against. This is not an anomaly by any means. Here's another one, Rod, that was just cut and repaired today. For nearly everyone here, the U.S. represents a safe haven. I am fighting as much as I can so my children can have something better. Now, we reached out to Customs and Border Protection, and they tell us they're sending more personnel and launching new operations to more aggressively target the smugglers. They're also asking Congress for additional resources. Nora? Adam Yamaguchi, thank you.